Welcome back to the Hometown Healthcare Series, where we are interested in perspectives in community health, as well as innovations in community health. Uh, thank you for joining me today. I just have some thoughts on Regeneron. I thought you'd be really interested in this drug that was popularized by Trump taking it um, at the beginning, end of September, beginning of October. So with that, um, did a little research. Um, Regeneron is the name of the company. That's the pharmaceutical company, first off. They have a name of this drug as an acronym. It's like R-E-N-G-C-O-V-9 or something, or 19. Um, so that's not important. It's two, it's two antibodies, basically, that they have combined together. And what, and what the biggest thing I thought was kind of interesting that probably nobody knows is that it is not derived from humans that have an antibody response that have received COVID-19. It's actually been derived from, from mice that have a human immune system that's been developed in them. They call it a genetically humanized mice. And this is pretty standard practice, I think, for a lot of organizations, uh, pharmaceutical organizations and others to try to predict how humans would react to disease. So that, take it for what you will and what you think about that. Um, overall, when I looked at the, um, the information on it, the trials that have come out and have been posted through the FDA have um, been on patients specifically that have not been hospitalized. So I think that's important. I thought that was important because Trump specifically stated in one video I saw that he was getting this, you know, across the country to all the hospitals, you know, we're going to expedite it to them and, and that's going to, it's going to be great. It's going to be free, you know, perfect, you know, perfect world. Um, but the trials that came up actually on patients that weren't hospitalized, those are the ones that have come out public so far. They, of course, there are trials on those that are hospitalized. So I'm sure that's, that's outgoing anyway. Um, so anyway, important to note, um, it looks like for, for patients that, um, that were in this trial, the medium reduction in symptoms went from 13 days to seven days. Seven days, no symptoms versus 13 days. That was the average. It was a good trial. Um, everything looked sharp in there. I, I really liked the way it looked and it actually looks very, very positive. I mean, overall it does look very, very positive. And I really think that um, this along with other things, now the trial didn't have any other, any other combinations of drugs on these patients. So it made these reductions without any other complementary therapies. As you know, people are gonna be taking other things, vitamin D, vitamin C, zinc, or some of the highly touted things out there on the market right now to help just support your immune system. Um, I mean, if you remember the, the drug hydroxychloroquine, I don't think hydroxychloroquine had that much to do with, with getting people better. It helped to get zinc into the cell and zinc was the powerful tool that was being used. So that's why zinc's so important. So zinc, vitamin C, vitamin D, those are things, but then all these other um, therapies out there. So I think it's a combination of all these things that are really gonna get us through. Um, I think the fear is going to go away soon. I'm looking for it to, to happen sooner than later because I think the America needs that. Um, I don't foresee it going past first quarter, but you never know with these things, you know. So uh, with that, yeah, Regeneron, I think it's a good thing. I, I think there's a little bit of, uh, you know, there's always misinformation and confusion out there. So I hope this helped to, to learn a little bit about what, what is going on. And with that, um, looking forward to talk to you again next time on the Hometown Healthcare Series. Take care. Have a great day.